What's up, Netrunners? Welcome to Peach Hack. My name is Ben, and with me today is Ross. How's it going, Ross? I'm fine. How are you? I am doing great. We are going into game two of round one of the Gigabyte Store Championship from January 24th, 2015 in Marietta, Georgia. And on the left, we have your lovely mug uh, playing as Andromeda. Gets a starting hand of nine cards. And you are playing against your arch nemesis, uh, Aaron, on the right, playing as Wayland, building a better world. Uh, sporting that nice alt art as well. Um, I mean, so this this uh, match comes on the cusp of honor, er, order and chaos. Right. But Aaron has decided to jump the gun and play some Building a Better World, which is, I mean, in, in the days of Wayland these days, you normally see Blue Sun, but he's going up, kicking it old school. Yeah, you know, the extra credit for, gaining, uh, for playing a transaction, you know, it, it can add up. I mean, we can play Beanstalk Royalties for zero credits. Yes. It feels good being able to get four credits off of it. Yeah. And the other great thing about uh, Building a Better World is that most identities, or a lot of identities, trigger things once per turn, whereas with Building a Better World, you can do it any time you play a transaction. So you can do it multiple times. And there are plenty of uh, great transactions that are... Uh, you know, that have come out recently. All the clearances from HB... Mm -hmm. No, you, you can even play medical research fundraiser if that's your type <laughs> that's of thing. That's true. Um, restructure, of course, the granddaddy, oh, getting yes. you six credits. And, of course, we do see that beanstalk. Yeah. Uh, equivalent to a hedge fund. Right. And ice ice. Ice ice baby, as they call it. Yeah, it's a smaller baby, but it, <laughs> it, it still looks like an ice ice baby. I mean, it's a smaller baby that is somehow still the same size baby. Exactly. Okay, found a turn one Desperado. We should be good here. <laughs> and this is Andromeda. Now, uh, lately, is uh, the stealth version of Andromeda has become popular. Is this the stealth version, or is this something a little bit more standard? We uh, do see Desperado. I mean, this is an extremely standard turn, I think. Yeah, th this Andy. is a fantastic first turn. But yeah. uh, no, this is not stealth. I'm playing Data Suckers and Anarch Breakers. Okay. I have a peacock in here. I, 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 I hated that card. <laughs> Icing up uh, archives early. Yes. That security testing hate. Ooh, and it's an enigma. Oh, so there goes my second click. It's been interesting seeing uh, enigma sort of make a bit of a resurgence. Uh, because of the prevalence of Yogg, it's like, what's the point of running a two-strength uh, in the run code gate? So that's why everyone switched to Quandry. But then Lotus Field came out. And now nobody, few people run Yogg. Right. Uh, well not as many, at least. And then suddenly uh, Enigma starts looking better. Yeah, the interesting thing is I never ran Yogg out of Andy until Lotus Field actually came out. And then that's when I found out how great Yogg was. And really? Yeah. So <laughs> interesting. Um, we do have a Bastion and Ice Wall yeah. protecting uh, Aaron's centrals at this point, in addition to that Enigma. Right. I got him to res all of the ice. But, um, alas, it, you know, he finds another beanstalk. It, it's all very cheap and end-the-run ice. I'm still not quite sure if he's on a, uh, if he's on a plan to try and kill me or not. But, mm -hmm. uh, I notice I have a Corroder in hand. And you do have the Yogg. Yes, I do have a Yogg in my deck. So, these, these archives runs are pretty nice for me. And I saw I had a Corroder in hand, so I'm interested, I was interested to, think why I wouldn't play it and, you know, security test R&D, but uh, I, I remember I'm afraid of power shutdown on my poor Corroder. Ah, uh, yes. So just trying to force him to, you know, let me get my stuff out before he can power shut down it mm -hmm. all. And plus, Yogg turns on your economy engine again yes, earlier. Absolutely. It, it's a lot better to security test for three credits than it is for two. Yeah. Um, so you're worried about whether uh, Aaron's Wayland was going to kill you. Uh, I guess in my mind, when I think of Billion Better World, it's obviously going to be lots of money. And if you're getting lots of money, then chances are you're probably uh, going to be doing some sort of Seesaw Scorch nonsense. Yes. Um, so I think that's probably a fair bet. I mean, that's typically what people did, you know, pre-Blue Sun. Right. And... You can you can use the money on other things, most notably Troubleshooter and Ash. Okay, yeah. 
the especially like troubleshooting and archer. I know Aaron loves that play. I, I love it too. It's it's nice. So he installs advances. I have the rest of my breaker suite in hand to get through one ice with fairy and corroder. Okay, well that's so, nice. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna go for it. So he can't he can't stop me here, which is good. And it, he advanced it, so it implies to me that it's an agenda. Yeah, probably trying to sneak one out early before you can get your rig assembled, yeah. not realizing that you had everything <laughs> in hand. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be a fortuitous draw. And indeed, it is a geothermal fracking. Right. An early two points. Yeah. And, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. I was, I was kind of afraid of an aggressive secretary, but here come the power shutdowns. What I was afraid of, my poor <laughs> corroder biting the dust. Well, that was just a fairy, though. Oh, yeah. well, he's well, got a second one. a second one, yes. Okay. Well, rest in peace, Corroder. Yeah. Of course, barrier breakers are what you want against Wayland. This is the faction known for their barriers. Yes. Now, he did power shut down for two, uh, meaning without a Jackson on the field, so he yes. could have milled agendas. Yes, and that, that's what I'm kind of hoping here. I, I do find a data sucker. That would have been nice last turn, but I didn't have the clicks for it. I think I just drew it. But yeah, I'm going to run back here just to check it out. And, mm -hmm. uh, nothing. He There is the Jackson Howard and an Oh, that's nice. That, I mean, those are... <laughs> Somewhat I, I, happy to see, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm fine with those going in the garbage, so. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Trash an archer for free. How about that? Yes. <laughs> and Jackson. No agendas, though. Yeah. Alas. But you are on the early lead, right. which puts uh, Aaron a bit on the back foot. And, I mean, Wayland, you know, pre-Titan Transnational, isn't known for any sort of fast advance, so he's going to be wanting to build up big servers that are just expensive to get through. Right. And meaning his agendas are going to be pretty obvious. Right. I mean, he could, you know, install a, a, an atlas and then triple, triple advance it next turn, but usually you're going to know when there's agendas. Right. And it, it helps here because he got my corroder off the board. So he can probably still try and rush things out. I guess he just hasn't found what he's looking for yet. Yeah, here I decide to go KD because if he starts getting a lot of money, security testing is a little risky with C source double scorch possibilities. You don't want to run into those with trying to get money with security testing if they're out moneying you. Plus, he uh, iced up archives a bit more just yes. to uh, to turn that off. And he's slowly icing up his centrals, but um, yeah, I think. Uh, both of those turns are just install ice for one and then credit credit. Right. Meanwhile, I'm just looking to try and kind of reset my rig back up. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a, a way to get the corroder out or another uh, corroder? I have a second corroder. Okay. Yeah. So uh, not I, all hope is lost. Yeah. I'm very happy I, I decided not to, you know, cut the second corroder from this deck mm -hmm. like I almost did. But l luckily I kept it around. And it's very tempting to go down to one of each, as long as you have ways to recur them. Right. Um, just because there's so many good cards you want to fit in. I know that I, I, in a lot of my decks, I tend to put one of each. Stall for one, credit, credit. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think Aaron's <laughs> been replaced with a automated bot or something. <laughs> so it looks like I, I have a, I have a couple legworks in hand here. Mm -hmm. Probably hoping to use that because, at this point, he. He probably can't feel too great about trying to sneak one out in the remote. So I, I still am criminal. I still play inside job, probably. Mm -hmm. We have the special order, I assume, yeah. for that other corroder. Yes. Oh, it looks like it was right on top. Uh, naturally. It's always chilling there. And use KD again. Mm -hmm. Just preparing for, you know, I, I think I have an R&D interface in hand, too. Just to prepare for the assault that will soon uh, come, I guess. <laughs> Stall for one. Credit, credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next turn, it's going to be that, that third string of ice on archives. Right. It's going to keep going across. Slowly but surely. Yeah. But I, I'm happy now. I've got mostly a full rig out. I, I would like a permanent sentry breaker, but. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, another data sucker. Just in case he somehow drew more power shutdowns. And there's a the legwork. Yes. Eight credits. What can you read? So the Bastion is going to cost, well, with the two data suckers, it's going to cost basically 
what one to get in. Yeah. yeah. It, it'll it'll basically cost me nothing because I'll spend the two data suckers. They'll go right back out in Data Raven as well, or Desperado as well. But Hive with zero agenda scored is always a pain. But I'm committed to this legwork at this uh, point. You can so get in. Yeah. So I, I do so. Another Bastion. Oh. Ooh. And there was an Atlas. Yeah. Uh, and oh, there's that turbo shooter you're talking yeah, about. So, so now I'm I'm thinking he's not on the scorch plan, but I'm I'm not willing to uh, make that bet with my life currently. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> go back up to four cards in hand just to be safe. And you are ahead on money here, so there's no worry of any sea source shenanigans. Yeah. Shenanigans. Oh uh, well, now he's got a lot of money. The old hostile takeover. But so so many credits. You do have the bad pub, at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. The yeah. early bad pub is always nice. Yeah. So I have security test archives, and there's an Inazuma. That's, That's scary. Yeah. But you do have the two data suckers. Yeah, it just means now I'm not profiting any data suckers sure. to get into archives, which is sad. But well, It's fortuitous that you had both of those data suckers. <laughs> yes. Or else you, yeah, that would have been sad. Yeah. The, the gaining three credits is what I'm most worried about here. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen two... High of strength ice. Of course, I'm worried about you know archers. My only permanent uh, sentry breakers mimic, and that mm -hmm. that's that gets kind of awkward when you know they have an archer out and they purge, and now you're scared of running any ice because yep. it might be the archer, which he can certainly res at this point. Yeah, hostile takeover turns on that archer. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I still have the fairy out, so. Here I'm going to security test the remote just to see if he'll res ice, let me scout out what his remote is, and mm -hmm. try and, you know, give me an idea of how many credits I need. As a corp, I kind of wonder whether or not it's worth it to res ice on those remote security testings. Do you want yeah. to give him the information and uh, or deny the credits? Yeah. Ooh, roto turret. You know, roto turret's fine here. It gets rid of my second fairy. Mm -hmm. I have to go through, and I, I think I jack out here just in case... It's like another Rotator Turts and Archer, and then I'm basically out of this game completely. I think a Rotator is a fair ice to res yeah. if you're in that situation where you don't know if you're going to res or not. Mr. Lee. Yes. I definitely grew to love this card early on in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming down off him a little bit because he's starting to slow down, it feels like, you know. Oh, he gets another hostile. He's he's taking all the bad publicity. No Valencia yet. Yeah. Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> exactly. But uh, I'm starting to win like John Massonori more, even though he has that you know threat of giving you a tag. Mm -hmm. Just because the draw is basically clickless if you're using security testing and Desperado. You're getting so much value out of that run. Sure. I am definitely seeing that uh, a lot more often, yeah. the John Massonori in addition to security testing Desperado. Yeah. So it's been a few turns, so here comes the legwork yet again. So I'm trying to do math here, and apparently I'm not doing it quite so well, but I, I eventually get in there. <laughs> I think you did get it right. Yeah, okay. I think there was one oh. turn this game. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Oh, the successful demonstration. He misses his chance to play it because I jacked out after that roto turret. Uh, so he must have... Did he... Uh, I think he had it in hand because he scored the hostile takeover Oh, that's again. true. He played yeah. hostile takeover instead of using that. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if he's just worried about getting agenda flooded if he had that fracking and... Yeah, that's very uh, true. Hostile. I think I remember like making a remark about it in game and he was like, oh, yeah, I could have used it then. Successful demonstration. Yeah. That's another transaction, right? I mean, yes. It'd be what plus six. Yes. It's on the level of of restructure, restructure, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit more. Uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm digging for here. I, I think I, I think I just want a lot of everything right now. I'm kind of low on money. I've got Katie, at an okay point, but I think I have a parasite in hand to deal with that roto turret. But I'm still afraid of a second sentry behind the roto turret, so I don't want to run the remote. Oh, I can't do that. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what, uh, uh, nope. Uh, oh, the easy mark, the easy mark <laughs> to the rescue. <laughs> the combo. Yeah, so the singleton easy mark getting me the money to play the, play the sure gamble. All right, I'll buy it. 
Easy Mark, that's an interesting include. Um, I I had been having issues with Andromeda recently where I was just uh my starting my opening hands were just slightly economy dry, so I dropped like I think a, a emergency shot down for an easy mark just to give me that added turn one power. Mm -hmm. How many of those are, are are in there? Just one? Just just a single easy mark. Okay. Yeah. Good timing. It's something I uh something I stole from Jesse Vandover. Uh cuz I know he played just a single easy mark in mm -hmm. his w uh winning decks for regionals. That's fun. Yeah. It's a fun little splash. I, I mean in fashion, but Dirty Laundry on HQ, which yeah. is being security tested right now. Yeah, so it's basic. This is all for economy and to try and get data sucker counters. And Hive is only three subs at this point now, yes. so it's not bad. Yeah, We've two, got two bad pubs. Yeah, with two bad pub, I should be coming out ahead here. I, I, I think here's where I do some really bad math. Uh, maybe not. Uh. I, it kind of all happened too fast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure the YouTube commenters will math that out for us. Uh, I'm sure. And then I play Plaskery, even though I've seen you know the corporate troubleshooter and an Inazuma, and I don't quite think he's on the uh, Scorch plan. I, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ooh, and the uh, upgrade install advance yes. play. Um, might that be another troubleshooter? Maybe. Right, and. So here I use the parasite on hive instead of the uh, instead of the roto turret because I'm I'm just gonna give him his remote and mm -hmm. try and take them all from HQ. I mean you only need one point, right? Yes. So I'm I'm planning on using just trying to get in on centrals as often as I can as opposed to yeah security testing still on HQ. So oh yeah I'm, I'm just trying to keep basically. Keep hammering centrals. I that remote's way too scary. If that's a corporate troubleshooter, mimic can't break roto turret when he has 17 credits. Oh, well, there's another troubleshooter. Yeah, there's another troubleshooter. <laughs> Get that out of here, because I don't want that showing up on a central as well. So you mentioned you weren't sure what you were digging before with Mr. Lee. I mean, might right. you be looking for that mimic then at this point? Yeah, that's possible. I'm. I think so long as I have three data suckers, I'm okay running centrals here. Because I, I just don't want to lose any programs to Archer at this point. Mm -hmm. That That's a surefire way for me just to be out of this game completely. Sure. W which is why I'm just not even... That, that remote's hits. <laughs> do you have any way to recur trash programs like Deja Vu or anything? I do not. Ah, yeah, so if Corridor's gone, then it's gone, gone. Yeah, yeah. That is scary. <laughs> Especially because this is my second Corroder. He's, he's gotten mm -hmm. rid of one. That, that's why I was so happy to find the second Data Sucker. That's huge for me. Oh, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> that Mr. Lee, the, do, would I rather have a Desperado or a Feedback Filter? I don't well, know. There's well, your Mimic. Oh, I think I skipped I, it. I think I went for the legwork. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, so now I've got to get rid of security testing. Huh. Which... With the bad pubs, yeah, it's it's is free. Free, yeah. Uh, and You're I'm basically gain only losing uh, one potential data sucker, so yeah. plus one data sucker. And now here comes like work, hoping yeah. that he just has it in hand. I think he only has three. Oh no, he yeah, has. He has, has I forgot he drew group. a bunch. Or he full HQ, not yeah. a full group. Oh, goodbye, Jackson. Yes. Don't want him fixing any potential floods later. Even though I don't think it's too big a deal for him. And he just has all this money. Okay. He he didn't score out that agenda when he had the chance, did he? No, he did not. He left it on the field a turn. He I don't know what he did with his turn last time. Well, but there it oh, is there now. There it is. Yeah, Atlas with a counter. Uh, always scary. Now, if he's not running Scorch, I wonder if he's planning on using that counter four. Maybe the next Atlas, perhaps. Yeah, or like if he scores a two-pointer here. He can fetch the last hostile and score that out of hand. Mm -hmm, that's true. Chance of finding some account siphons, which help. Yeah, here we go. I'm trying to get some. Uh, yeah, your your money situation is pretty solid at this point. Yeah. Uh, security testing, dirty laundry, all the bad pubs. But again, I, I did bury that mimic earlier, so mm -hmm. <laughs> now I have to go dig it back out again with Mr. Lee. Uh, I assume you're running three special orders, probably. Yes. Hopefully. I think I've used two of them already. Yeah. So, 
and I still have one more fairy left in the deck. Mm -hmm. So I I just want to when I finally do start running R and D, I do see two R and D interfaces in my hand. That is nice. Yeah, I got the money for it. I wanna I wanna make sure I can get in at least once safely. I mean, do you think that he has any more agendas in hand at this point? I don't because I think he would just be putting them in his remote right mm-hmm. now. With how much money he has and the fact that I'm not interested in running there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I and he, he could be having trouble yeah. drawing ice as well because, yes. I mean, this, this HQ is just wide open right now. Right. Yeah. And just yeah. getting free money all over the place. Yes. It, it costs me... Uh, I basically click for three credits in a data sucker counter right now, mm-hmm. which is it's a better easy mark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Ooh, I, and I there we do have that R&D interface. Yeah, I see I drew the fairy, but I'm afraid of him having his last power shut down and just getting it off the board. So you're planning on playing the fairy the turn that you intend to use it? Yes. I'm, I will play fairy and run R&D. And here he installed advanced advances. So oh, so that could be a three-pointer. Yeah, and I know that I can't get into that remote. Cause so, and there's yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here I'm like, w- is it better to see two cards or to play the R&D interface and see three? But give up one click to you know hit R and D or HQ twice. Mm-hmm. So going I, for the triple R and D dig. Going for the triple R and D dig. So is this an archer? Right, that or is something question. scary. And this is click three, I think. Yes. So it was. Uh, I think I Mr. lead played the R and D interface, and now I'm running. Oh no, I played fairy. You played, played fairy R and D interface, yes. and now the run. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I mean, he's got the money. I don't see yeah. why he wouldn't res it. Oh, it's a Grim. Yep. So That's now, an interesting include. Yeah, so now I- even if I get in and get to trash a lot of things, I can't go back right now. Yeah. And now he's going to use the Atlas token, uh, I presume, because he wants to He just wants to lower the density. The density yeah. yeah. Get the ho- it's a hostile, which... Makes sense. It doesn't matter what he gets It's here. kind of arbitrary, yeah. yeah. I mean, if somehow... You score. I mean, it's an easy agenda to score if you don't see anything. You yeah. see one, two, and oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it was at the, the bottom. Yeah, it, <laughs> thank goodness I played the second R and D interface, and he yeah. does show it was a three pointer. So that was game point. Yeah. So it's if I whiffed, it was one in five, one in four mm-hmm. shot in HQ to try and get the hospital takeover. So wow, I'm glad to see it out of R and D instead. <laughs> yeah. It's it's. I love it when games come down to that last turn because yeah. it happens way more often than you'd expect where suddenly, you know, the the challenge is thrown where yeah. you basically, the course says, I'm going to win next turn. What are you going to do about it? And then it becomes do or die for the runner. Yep. Are you going to win or not? And you pulled it off. So congratulations. Thank you. And, yeah, great games between, uh, between both of you. Very entertaining. I always love watching the two of you play. Yes. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we will be bringing you round two uh, pretty soon. Uh, Thanks for joining me, Ross, and uh, we'll see you next time.